Billionaire business investor Mark Cuban facing backlash over claims on diversity, equity, and inclusion hiring, saying in a viral X post, I've never hired anyone based exclusively on race, gender, religion. I only ever hire the person that will put my business in the best position to succeed. And yes, race and gender can be part of the equation. I view diversity as a competitive advantage. Joining us now to react, Commissioner of the U.S. Equal Opportunity Commission, Employment Commission, uh, Andrea Lucas. Andrew, thanks for being with us. Now, Andrea, it was you that responded to Mark Cuban, correct? You, you on X responded to Mark Cuban and notified him in essence, hey, what you're describing is a violation of the EEOC. That's right. Uh, I, I'm glad to have had the opportunity to clear up some really basic misunderstandings about uh, employment law that I see so many corporate leaders and our cultural elite constantly uh, misunderstand. And those two key points are one, uh, that uh, race and sex can't be part of the equation. Um, if race or sex is any part of your decision, if it motivates it at all, you have violated the law. Uh, people seem to think that as long as it's just a tipping point or a soft factor, that's okay. That's not the law. And then second, there's a widespread belief that there's some form of good race discrimination, as long as it benefits certain protected uh, racial groups or particular minority uh, groups, or if it uh, is designed to promote some general interests of diversity of equity uh, or equity. That's so also not the law. Um, there's no good race discrimination. Diversity oh. discrimination is still unlawful. Well, that's wonderful to hear. It, but, but here's the problem. Not only do people think that, we all live in the real world. We know that those, Mark Cuban, honestly, is being guilty of being honest. He is doing or saying what we know that so many corporations are doing. So if that's a violation of the EEOC, how are they getting away with it? Uh, well, he's not the only one who's being honest about what he's doing. Uh, I do see widespread admissions uh, in many diversity, equity, and inclusion reports that uh, numerous companies uh, post broadly for their investors and for the general public to see uh, that, that contain indications that they're taking race preferential uh, decisions or sex preferential decisions. Uh, but, you know, a lot of it's a, it's a matter of incentives. If people aren't suing about it or, or filing a complaint or speaking up, uh, it, it's difficult to change things. I, this is worthy of a much deeper conversation to think that these are actually violations going on uh, in plain daylight, not under the surface, surface, but in plain daylight, and yet somehow not only getting away with it, but it's being encouraged is worthy of a much deeper dive. I hope we can talk in the future, Andrew. Thank you so much. Be great. Thanks for having me. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.